if you could take us off your list, we're not looking for anything like that. Thank you. Hello, friend. You're calling. Hello. Yes, I am. You are. What was your name? What can I do for you, sir? Even slightly interest you. All right, guys. If you can't tell, my face is swollen, like my gums and stuff. That's because I actually got my wisdom teeth taken out uh, yesterday. And I just wanted to talk about <laughs> that and like the funk that I'm in right now. So it's currently 4.30, it's the tw May 28th. And I've been in a funk, I'm not gonna lie, for like a week. Like I, well one, cause I knew this stuff was coming up, but then also I had to, I was just, I'm super confused on just like setting up everything business wise. Like, and then, <sighs> Like, I don't know, like time just went on. I was like, okay, well, I'm not going to do outreach because I have to still figure this shit out. And then, um, yeah, the appointment came up and then now it's like, I'm on a bunch of medication and can't go to work, can't go to the gym, can't eat. I can only have soft foods. Wow, my face looks so fucking fat right now. Holy shit. Seated. One person at a time, please. Oh, that's fucked up. I can only have like soft foods and stuff. So I've just been having soup like all day and protein shakes and been inside the house. And like, I've been trying to get work done, but I just feel super unmotivated. And I just feel super tired and just like lost. I don't even know. <laughs> but yeah, we all have these days, I guess. Right now I've been learning. Um, I have, I'm have doing onboarding for clients a whole different way than I was before. So I've kind of fixed all of that, took a bunch of notes. Now I'm learning, I learned Instagram outreach, like the type of method. Now I'm just trying to figure out how should I source Instagram leads? Like like just finding clients Instagrams at a fast scale. Like do I have to go in and individually like search this shit up or do I like just, I don't know. So if I wanna be doing this every day, I feel like I have to have a pretty efficient way to do that. And then right now I'm learning just like all of the go high level stuff, like having a back end automation. Right now I'm confused on, should I have the client call up these leads or should I just stick with text and email automation? Because like I wanna do most of the work for them or like all the work for them. But if, they have to, if I don't have appointment setters, it's like hard to do the calling part, even though it's a higher conversion rate. If that makes any sense to you guys, I don't know. Some people watching this are into SMMA, some people aren't. Some people just watch this to see my journey, the people that know me, whatever. But yeah, that's the uh, that's the day so far. <laughs> I still did my abs this morning though, cause and I did them yesterday when I got my teeth pulled, cause no excuses. Grinding lately, had to go back to the fucking lab. So, and I still haven't broken the diet, so yeah, that's that. And guys, like this is pathetic, like, <laughs> I've literally just been watching Drake and Josh for the past two hours and because I, I got just like super tired and unmotivated after trying to do work and yeah, there's my soup and just it's a cloudy day. It's one of those days guys, it's one of those days. And also it's like, I'm sure, you know, people usually go, oh, you just got your teeth pulled. You need to like take, take it easy and and all that and it's like i feel like it's hard for me too because i'm just sitting here at the crib and it's like i'm such a doer like i just i, I hate just like sitting around and like wasting time like because i'm like oh if i'm laying down on the couch i could be doing work on the computer right there's something i could be doing and that i'm trying to do that but then i just i don't know it's like one of those weird moods i'm in like it's hard to explain and yeah the shit hurts and <laughs> i'm just extra tired i think because like all the medicate like the codeine and like all that shit just makes you drowsy but um <clears throat> it's fine i want to start outreach tomorrow on monday but i feel like i haven't been able to organize my leads i've been having some issues with that so i'm trying to figure all that out too what's up everyone so it's currently may 30th um still have this you know what you would call it wisdom teeth shit it's getting better but face is still swollen from it still hurts <laughs> um but i had like a weird epiphany today or not epiphany it was just kind of like a th like thought like i on if i'm being completely honest i felt weird and unmotivated and like in like i said in a funk for the past couple weeks ever since i stopped doing outreach on the 14th and in the span of time a lot of stuff has came up like i've been figuring out like my whole business like what i'm what niche I was gonna do, and then how I was gonna provide the service, and then all this confusing back end stuff 
That honestly was just my way of procrastinating too because I'm just so unsure of what I'm doing. And it got to the point to where I was like today, just thinking, wow, I still haven't started outreach since the 14th. What the fuck am I doing? I want, I, I want to hit these certain goals by these dates. I have to act fast. And acting fast does not mean doing more research and whatnot. It means like actually picking up the phone and dialing or emailing or whatever that is for your outreach. So yeah, I just, I've been doing like a ton of research today and just being stuck in like this analysis paralysis phase. I've been learning a lot though about my niche and like marketing for my niche. So that's good. But yeah, I was just like, you know what? I've got my list of leads now. I don't have my full like plan set up as far as organizing the leads and like how I'm gonna go about like automations and all this shit. But I was like, who cares? I have to do a hundred outreaches today. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna film some cold calls right now. So yeah, there's gonna be my first cold calls back in the game. I changed my script a little bit, so we'll see how it goes. Also, one thing I wanted to touch on is it's like a crazy realization when you think about it that the only way you're gonna get what you want is if you get step out of your comfort zone. Like for everything in life really. Like, like, I, like I said, I hate outreach, I hate cold calls. I mean, who doesn't, right? But I'm not gonna, make my dream come true if I don't, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like there's no other option. So having that thought going in is important. You have to remember that. Cause I don't want this to be something that just like fades away. A couple months goes by and I'm like, oh, what, did, what happened? Oh, I don't know, it just didn't work out. I'm gonna try a different business model now and then do the same shit with that one. No, fuck that. That can't happen this time. So yeah, let's start. Hi, Michelle. Uh, this is Rex from Regency Era. Uh, I'm not sure if you're the right person I should be speaking to. Are you in charge of uh, client acquisition for Ridgeline? Um, I am. I am not. You're not. Uh, no, and there is no one else here. But I can take a message if you like. Okay. Yeah. Is there um, or is there like a good email like potentially of someone who'd be in charge of that? Or I can even call back at another time. Um, yeah, you can try. Um, I'm not really sure exactly what is it that you're looking for, someone who does what. Oh, sorry. Okay, I'll, I'll be more specific. As <laughs> um, Just like basically getting, getting booked appointments, um, getting more clients, getting more jobs, like someone who's in charge of that. I don't know if you have like a, a sales guy or if it's just the owner that kind of runs that. Um, I'm not really sure. Um, I know we do use a service that generates leads for us. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So, um, would there is there like a time that I, could, I should just call back that like someone might be in the office or? Um, it's just kind of hit and miss, to be real honest. Hit and miss. Donald. Yeah, it's just. Sorry about that. It's just kind of hit and miss. Um, everybody's kind of in and out all the time. Um, that's why it's just kind of easier sometimes for me to take a phone number. Okay, yeah, I could. Uh, that works then. Yeah. Um, okay. okay, so are, are you are you ready? Yeah. Okay, it's a uh, nine four nine, and okay. and then yeah, it was just uh, Rex from Regency Era. Okay. Yeah, I will. Uh, Pass the information along. Like I said, it races kind of in and out, so it's kind of hit and miss. So, um, and if they're interested in something, I'm sure they'll get back a hold of you. Okay, cool. Well, thank you so much, Michelle. All right, thank you. Have a good day. You too. Bye. Mm -hmm, bye. Okay, so that was my first cold call back in. That went. That went fucking smooth. Like, I tried, but gatekeeper was gatekeepers. You know. Next. Hello, you've reached Montana Paint Pros. Please hold on a moment while we connect your call. Hey, 
it's uh, Rex from Regency Era. Uh, I guess the best number to call me back at is 949. Thank you. Stage Rookie, this is Eric. Hi, um, this is Rex from Regency Era. I'm not sure if you're the right person I should be speaking with. Are you, are you in charge of client acquisition for Sage Roof? Hey, hang on just a second, man. I, uh, I didn't catch that. Let me, uh... What was that one more time? Uh, this is Rex from Regency Era. I, I don't, I'm not sure if you're the right person. Are you Are you in charge of client acquisition for Sage Roof? Um, I am, yeah. You are? What was your name again? My name is Eric. Yeah, I'm the owner operating. Eric. Oh, you're the owner? Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, so I was just, I was just curious if you were at like full capacity. Um, yeah, I'm actually at full capacity for, for me, myself, I'm, I'm trying to get a couple employees so I can take on more. So, okay. Okay, cool. All right. Well, no worries. I was just, I was just curious. Cool. Thanks, man. Thank you. Bye. Okay. So I need to learn what to say. Cause it's like, bro, if they're at full capacity, they don't want more appointments, right? Cause they wouldn't be able to handle them. So it's kind of like, I don't know where to go from there if I'm being honest. Maybe I should figure that out. But like, I, I could have been like, oh, okay, well we could book in a call to send the interest you, put it off for now until you get those employees. And then, but I just, I kind of just was bamboozled, you know? It's okay. He was nice. Hey, it's uh, Rex from Regency Era. Um, I just wanted to call in regards to marketing and seeing if you guys are at full capacity right now. Um, if you guys aren't and it's something that interests you as far as expansion and whatnot, just feel free to give me a call back at 949. Thank you. Hi, um, this is Rex from Regency Era. Uh, I'm not sure if you're the right person I should be speaking with. Are, are you in charge of client acquisition for DLG? Uh, can you say that again? I'm sorry. Sorry, uh, it's Rex from Regency Era. I, I don't, are you the person that's in charge of client acquisition for uh, DLG? Or is that someone else? Um, not really. Not really? But, uh, no. <laughs> is, there, is there someone else who is by any chance? Um, did you, uh, let me you just get, try, I'm just trying to understand, um, did you need an estimate or, um, or you are a promotion something or, um, another kind of business? Oh yeah. So, uh, yeah, sorry. The client acquisition thing probably wasn't that clear. Um, I just, so I run a social media marketing agency. I work uh -huh. with, I work with roofers and I basically just get them more booked appointments. And so I was just calling to see if, uh, you know, you guys are at full capacity, like complete full capacity, or if you wanted more, um, more clients and whatnot. Um, so mm -hmm. I was just calling about that and I wanted to see uh, if there's somebody who's in charge of like sales. Yeah, well, or... we're kind of busy though these months. Um, I'm not sure, but if you are able to send your information by email, it will be better. So when the owner had the opportunity, he can see it and take a look at that information. So he, whatever he's interested in, he'll call you back or reply your email. Okay, what was the uh, owner's name? Uh, Mario. Mario. Okay, and what was the best uh, email to send this to? That will be D D Hassan David. Two letters D Hassan David. Mm -hmm. That L. Awesome. All right. Well, thank you so okay. much. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. Bye bye. Bye. Okay, so I'm gonna email email Mario. I guess part of me feels like I should be using like um, a calling app or whatever on my laptop that'll get me like an area code that matches with theirs so that they're more likely to pick up the phone, but it's fine. Just working with what I got for right now, I guess. I'm trying not to overcomplicate it, so. Hi, you've reached roofing. For Tim, please press one. For Scott, press two. For Alec, press three. Thank you for calling. Hi, you've reached Carrie. Please leave a brief detailed message and I will return your call as soon as I can. Thank you. At the tone, please record your message. When you've finished recording, you may hang up or press one for more options. 
Hey, it's uh, Rex from Regency Era. Um, I was just calling t in regards to your marketing and I was just seeing if you guys are at full capacity right now with your roofing company. Um, if you're not and you think you could expand in any type of way, just please feel free to give me a call back at 949. Thank you. Hello, this is Nick. Hi, Nick. Um, it's Rex from Regency Era. Uh, I'm not sure if you're the right person I should be speaking with. Are you in charge of a client acquisition? For roof mask. Yeah, I'm in charge of everything, I guess. You are? are you, you're, you're the owner? Yeah. Okay. Um. So, I don't want to waste your time. Um, I'm just curious. Are you guys at full capacity right now? Uh, we're getting close. Close? Yeah. Okay. But you could you could handle more um, more jobs it or more appointments? Yeah. So, we, we do a, we're not like a we're not spending like your traditional just roofer. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah. Okay. Uh, what, yeah, what exactly, what services do you offer? Um, so basically I'm, I'm a full stack social media marketing agency. So I don't just, I don't just give you guys, you know, random leads that are like not, that are like useless. You know, I, I, uh, I get booked appointments cause I have a, you know, lead nurture system that follows up with them and whatnot. Um, so we do pretty much, uh, almost everything on our part, except for like, you know, call, calling them up. Um, but we do emails and text and all of that. Um, it's kind of, it'd take a little longer to explain, but, but yeah, basically. Well, I, I, I get it. I, yeah. I mean, I already have those systems in place. Mm -hmm. you. Are they, so, how are they, how are they working? If you don't mind me asking. Good. Well, as good as they can be, I think. So, you know, I think, uh, I, we, the RoofMax network has kind of all these built-in tools, I guess, if you want to call them that. And a lot of us dealers have, like what you're saying is a lead comes through, all the, the automated text gets sent to them, my phone rings, I talk to them or I don't talk to them, you know, that kind of stuff. And then we book appointments from there. Oh, okay, I see. Okay. Uh, how many How many appointments are you usually getting like a month? Um... I can tell you last week we got 13. Okay. Um, so on average monthly, it's, I don't know, 40 to 50. Oh, okay. So, and you're working with like an, a an agency or like someone in house or? A dealer that is out of Florida that um, handles our Facebook advertising. And then we're doing a lot of TV related stuff. Damn. So okay. That's pretty much all we're doing right now. Okay. Okay, cool. Um, well, so it sounds like you're pretty, you're pretty booked at the moment. Yeah, I'm doing okay. Um, at the moment. Okay. All right. Well, no worries. Thank you uh, so much for your time. Yeah, no worries. All right. Take care. You too. Bye. Okay. So I don't know that like, I mean, if he's, if he's already working with someone that's getting him like 50 booked appointments a month, that's way more than what I can do. And they're literally already doing everything that I'm doing. Like that's everything I would be doing. So it's like, there'd be no reason for him to work with me. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I handled that call very well. I don't know if I should have been more pushy. Um, Cause I'll just have to figure it out. Cause if I kept pushing, you probably would have just said, no, we're not interested. And that's fine, but I don't know. I didn't really push that hard. I was just uh, asking the questions, I guess. Hello, I'm working. This is Tiffany. Hi, Tiffany. Uh, this is Rex from Regency Era. Um, I'm not sure if you're the right person I should be speaking with. Are, are you in charge of client acquisition? Do I what, sorry? Are you in charge of uh, client acquisition, like like sales or? Getting getting jobs. Uh, no. For Highline, is there is there someone else who is by any chance? I'm just the, the owner. The owner. Um, is he is he there right now or? He is not at the moment. Can I take a message? Uh yeah sure. Um so my name is Rex basically I'm from Regis Sierra. Uh, I run a social media marketing agency. We work with roofers and we get them more booked appointments. Um, so I was going to just ask about, you know, as far as where you guys were at with your capacity, if you guys could handle. Um, we actually don't roof. 
We just sell roofing products. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> well, never mind yeah. then. Uh, thank you. I, I, my bad. <laughs> That's okay. Thank you. All right. Yeah. Have a good one. Bye. You too. Bye. Well, one, I shouldn't have pitched the gatekeeper. I don't know why I did that. Um, but I had to leave a message. I was like, I had to give a little info about what I was talking about. But also, I'm, I mean, I'm glad she was like, oh, okay, well, we just do products. So don't need that lead. Um, but I could, I should have asked for the email. I was just going to ask for the, me I was going to leave the message and then also ask for the email, but it's fine. I didn't go too bad. This diner's quality. You reached Bill Rock. Roofing, how can I help you? Hi, um, this is Rex from Reed and Sierra. Uh, I'm not sure if you're the right person I should be speaking with. Are you in charge of client acquisition? No, sir, that, we don't really have anybody who handles client acquisition. We're a small family-owned company. That's kind of Mr. Larry's job. He's the boss man, um, but he's going home for the day. I can take a message for him if you like. Yeah, yeah, no, that'd be, that'd be perfect. I could do that. Um, so okay, sure. And uh, go ahead. You said Rex. Is that what his name was? Yeah, Rex. All right, Mr. Rex. What's the best phone number I can have him call you back at, sir? Uh, nine four nine. And is that a direct number, or is that, a, or is there an extension? Oh no, that's uh, my direct cell number. Okay, perfect. All right. Well, I will go ahead and get this over to him, and as soon as I have him back in the office, I'll give you a shout. Okay, cool. And then also, I was just curious. Um, is there a good email? By any chance, like to get a hold of uh, Larry? Yeah. He doesn't have a personal email, but he uses the company general mailbox, um, and it goes to his secretary. Okay. Um, it gets to go fix. It's go fix. All right. Cool. Well, thank you so much. No problem. Have a great one. You too. Bye. Cool. So I'll email him. You've reached out. Yeah, this is Tyson. Hi, Tyson. Uh, this is Rex from Regency Era. Uh, I was not, I'm not sure if you're the right person I should be speaking with. Are you in charge of a uh, client acquisition for Rain Man Roofing? Hey, yeah, I'm uh, in the field. I'm on a roof. Is this something that's uh, real important or what's going on? Um, yeah, no, I was just, I was just calling to see if you guys were at capacity right now. Yeah, if you could take us off your list, we're not looking for anything like that. Thank you. Okay. Well, you didn't even let me explain, so I guess I could have explained quicker, um, but yeah. Oh, well. River Roofing, this is Jessica. Hi, Jessica. Oh, this is Rex from Regency Era. Um, I'm not sure if you're the right person I should be speaking with. Were you in charge of client acquisition for Um, what is this regarding? Uh, so basically just like getting, getting more jobs or getting more booked appointments. Um, I was just calling to see if someone, if there's someone I could get a hold of that was like in charge of that. Oh, okay. Um, so I am the scheduler, but we are completely booked out. Like we're booked, buck, we're booked out until October right now. So I oh, don't wow. really need, um, yeah, any, any assistance in that. Okay. All right. Well, no worries. Thank you so much for your time. Yeah, of course. You take care. All right. You too. Bye. Well, they're fully booked out to October. That's fucking ridiculous. They're doing really good. Please enter the zip code. Thank you for calling McKinnis. This is Tara. Hi, Tara. Uh, this is Rex from Regency Era. Uh, I'm not sure if you're the right person I should be speaking with. Were you in charge of client acquisition? Uh, most likely not. I'm back up at the back of the back up on phone. So. <laughs> okay. <laughs> is there is there someone who is by any chance? Like like someone who's just yep. in charge of getting. Basically, more booked appointments, more jobs, more people, more customers. Um, like a marketing development? Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, like either the owner or someone who's just like above in charge of sales or something. Okay. Yeah. Hold on just a second. I can see if I can get you over to Tracy here. Thank you. Uh huh? <laughs> We are a full-service roofing company meeting your residential and commercial roofing needs throughout eastern Nebraska and western Iowa. We use only... They actually might be in their shareholders meeting that's normally on Mondays, but I think they moved it to today. Okay. Is there a better time to call back or... Um, anytime tomorrow after 11 a.m. After 11 a.m. And then was there like a good yeah. email by any chance? Uh, 
Um, it would just be Tracy T R A C I. Yes. Okay, cool. All right. Well, thank you so much. Yep. All right. You have a good one. Bye. You too. Bye. Your call. Is Hello, this is Fred. Hi, uh, Fred, this is Rex from Regis Era. I just called a second ago, it, it cut out. Um, I was just curious, are, are you in charge? Are you the one in charge of client acquisition? Hello? Hello, Fred? All right, so he's gonna hang up on me twice, whatever. Maybe you just cut out? Welcome. Hi, you three. This is Jason. Hi, Jason. Uh, this is Rex from Regency Era. Um, I'm not sure if you're the right person I should be speaking with. Are, are you in charge of client acquisition for veteran roofing? Uh, no, I'm not. You're not? Is, is there someone else who is by any chance? Um, not like right now. I'm here by myself. Okay, is there is there a good email? Um, okay, cool. All right, well, thank you so much, right. Jason. Thank you. Bye. Damn, he was in a hurry. Thanks for the roofing. How can I help you? Hi, um, this is Rex from Regency Era. Uh, I was just calling. I'm not sure if you're the right person I should be speaking with. Were you in charge of client acquisition? Yes, I am. You are? What was your name? What can I do for you, sir? Um, so basically, I just wanted to see if you guys were at full capacity right now because I work with roofing companies and I get them more booked appointments. Uh, no, thank I appreciate your time. I'm not, in, not interested. Okay, no worries. Thank you. Okay. Damn, dude had a fucking big dick energy voice. He's like, hello, what can I do for you? Bro, didn't even tell me his name. I said, what was his name? And he's like, what can I do for you? I'm like, bro. Fucking rude. Thank you for calling. Hello, and thank you for calling. We're not a. <sighs> Hi. Um, this is Rex from Regency Era. Are you are you the owner of Pink? Hello. All right. Oh, call me back. Hello? Hello? Hi, hi. Um, this is Rex from Regency Era. Are you, are you the owner of... Uh-huh. You are? Um, so... Yes. So I was, just cur I was just curious, are you guys at full capacity right now? Um, yeah, I think so. Uh, why, why is, are you guys looking for work? Um, so, so no, I'll just tell you a little bit about what I do so it makes more sense because um, you probably don't know what Regis Era is. Um, so I just I run a full stack social media marketing agency. I, mean, I work with roofers specifically. Um, I bring them in more booked appointments. So that's why I was asking if you were at full capacity or now because if you think you could handle more booked appointments um, and it's something that even slightly interests you. Damn, fucker just hung up on me. Hi, um, this is Rex from Regency Era. Uh, I was I'm not sure if you're the right person I should be speaking with. Were you, were you in charge of client acquisition? What are you looking for? Um, I was just looking for someone who's in charge of like sales or getting booked appointments. Um, because I I was just trying to see if you guys were at full capacity right now. We are. You are. Yep. Okay. All right. Well, no worries. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Damn, fucking bitch. Roofing, this is Will. Hi, Will. Um, this is Rex from Regency Era. Um, are you are you the owner of Paradise Roofing, by any chance? Yeah, where are you calling from? I didn't catch it, sorry. I'm um, calling from California, Orange County. Or no, what's the company? I didn't catch the company. Oh, sorry. Regency, Regency Era. Regency, not familiar. Okay, what's going on? I'm um, the owner, yeah. Okay, cool. So I was just um, wondering if you guys are at capacity right now, like at full capacity, because I'll tell you a little bit about what I do, because you probably don't know what Regency Era is. Um, I run, it's a social media marketing agency, but I work with roofers uh, specifically. I just bring them more booked appointments. Um, I kind of take care of pretty much everything on, on our part. So um, I, was just, I was just curious if you guys were, if that's something you were interested in. We're we're pretty little we're a pretty small company. Um, it's just me and a couple guys. Mm -hmm. um, 
it, where are we at? We're, May, we're at the end of May. I'm booked through August right now. So oh, most wow. likely at this rate, I'll, I, I book through August, basically March through May, I book through August. So basically June through August, I'll book through November and then I, I leave the country for like five months. Oh, so, okay. I'm not a, I'm not a big company. I don't do a ton of work. And so it's not something I'm super interested in. I do my own website and I do all the SEO stuff and the back end crap with all that. So I get a decent amount of leads or rank fairly decent on Google. So I'm not right now. I'm not looking for anything. Uh, maybe down the road, maybe a year, maybe two years. But right now I, I can't really take anything on because I, I don't have the people that do the work. Okay. Well, thank you so much for your honesty. I uh, totally understand. Yeah, no problem, man. Thanks for the call. All right. And uh, have a good day, brother. All right. You too. Bye. All right. See you, man. Bye. Okay. You know what? That dude was nice. You know, like he told me, he didn't just say, no, fuck you. Like <laughs> you said, you know, no. Um, this is why I can't at the time. And, and it totally made sense. Like when he said, okay, a year or two from now, I was like, all right, I'm not going to try to push this anymore. So yeah. All right. So I just did 30 cold calls. Um, I'm, that's like the number I'm going to do uh, per day. I'm just going to do 30 because I'm still, as far as my planner goes, I still have to do 40 emails and then 30 DMs. So that'll be, that'll total in a hundred outreaches. Um, so I'm div diversifying it, but I think those cold calls, I mean, they're shaky, you know, they're iffy. I'm still new. Um, some, some of the people kind of caught me off guard. Some, you know, some just went okay, but they just weren't interested. You know, I, I got some emails I'm going to try to get in contact with, but yeah, I don't really know. Um, maybe I should change up my script. If anyone has any suggestions and they like know what they're doing and like they want to leave them down in the comments please do I'm always open to new things um, but yeah that was it so yeah peace